everyone watching on YouTube, and welcome back to Pokemon Conquest the 100%, the never-ending playthrough that just goes on and on and on and on. But anyways, oh, I'm gonna sit in my throat. Uh, I have something specific we're gonna try and do today, but before I talk about it, I want to get into an episode. So let's do... We're gonna do Okuni's episode. I should have read the thing, but I didn't. I'm sorry. Oh, well. Once upon a time, at a gathering of Ransay's warlords, a decision was reached. A test was to be carried out to determine the strength of each kingdom's junior warriors. A warrior would be selected from each kingdom, assigned a castle at random, and asked to demonstrate their skills on the battlefield. The warlords themselves were not allowed to offer any help. Let's get it. I wonder why this was one of the password episodes. Why Okuni, of all people? Now I can rely on you, can't I? To be a warlord? Me? Well, okay. I guess there will be lots of guys taking part in this contest too, right? Oh, <laughs> she's thirsty. Yes, indeed. It would appear that many male warriors of great renown are participate. Oh, great. In that case, I'm definitely doing it. DFW, welcome to stream. You are indeed just in time. What kingdom did we uh, get randomly assigned? Where am I? Am I I'm Avia? I'm in Avia. That's good because we could immediately knock out Spectra and Ballora and just... We're basically, what we wanted to do was be in, like, a corner. The worst thing would be, like, being in Terrera and Illusio or Pugilus. Like, being in one of the center areas. Cragspur would also kind of suck, but it wouldn't be as bad. But starting where you can uh, knock out an entire, like, basically you want to start where you can knock out all the top right or all of the bottom left. So we're going to immediately take out Hanzo and hopefully recruit. Well, no, you know what? Actually, we should take Magoichi first because we can easily recruit him. And we can easily recruit Tadakatsu as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna save Hanzo actually. As much as I want to take out Spectra immediately. So we're going Valor. Oh, we have a Dustnor boy here. Perfect. All right. So Chad, here's what we're gonna do. I went through and I did. Uh, I went through my checklist on my Google Sheet and uh, checked all the stuff that we're lacking for 100%. And we made way more progress in the Yoshimoto episode than I realized. We got like 30 perfect links or so in that episode alone. It was insane. Most of the perfect links I've been missing were in that episode. But uh, I went through and checked some um, words how they work. I went through and checked exactly how many warriors don't have perfect links. There are only 41 more warriors in the game that don't have their perfect link. Warriors with warlords, we still have uh, Nobunaga. Renmaru has her perfect, or his. I always say her is his perfect link, but. Uh, Renmaru has his perfect link, but he hasn't evolved yet. And then Nene has her perfect link, but hasn't evolved yet. So we have to evolve... For the Warlords, we have to evolve Nobunaga, the main hero, but that can only be done in the final episode. We have to evolve um, Nene, and we have to evolve Renmaru. And we can evolve Nene, Nobunaga, and Renmaru in Nobunaga's episode, which is what I'm planning on doing, actually. Just realized there are two normal types here, which means it is not going to be easy to kill them with two ghosts. What was I saying? But anyways, basically what I'm getting at is we're nearly, like, done with uh, getting perfect links, finally. There are only 41 more to go. It's probably going to start getting a little difficult to find the 41 people to recruit them. But now that we're at that point where there are only four more warlords to finish and one of them is the main character, and also I know I can get the other three done in Nobunaga's episode whenever we do it, and because we've got, we got most of the warlords done, we have most of the warriors done, I basically come to the decision that uh, the thing that is most keeping us from finishing the game now is actually, uh, is actually, I'll say it in just a second, I promise. The thing that's most keeping us from finishing the game now is the episodes, because there are still like 13 of them or something like that. We still have like 14, 13 episodes to go. So my goal for today, it's a four hour stream today. My dream scenario is, man, I would just love absolutely love what's your ability oh yes thank you that is very good i would just absolutely love if i was somehow able to finish four episodes today but more realistically i want to finish three episodes today so in these episodes that we're going to do today first of all we're only going to do junior warlord episodes because i looked through the episodes we have left and we have like six or seven junior warlord episodes to go like a lot it's the episode type we've done the absolute least of so that's why we're doing Okunis first. But I want to knock out three, maybe even four 
episodes of that today if we can. It'll be difficult because we, uh, obviously since we're doing the, um, why can I not talk today? But uh, since we're doing the Junior Warlord ones, which require you to take all 17 kingdoms, ergo they're longer than a lot of the shorter ones, uh, they're actually probably like among the longest kinds that you can do. I'm gonna go ahead and hit you up a little bit to weaken you, and then I'm gonna recruit you by killing you with Volcarona. But since we have like six of them, I'm not worried about rushing through them at all. It's not gonna hit you? I need you to come up here, then. I have to... Uh, I hate Valora's layout. I have to get this Carnivine in a spot where I can hit it with Volcarona. That should work. But since we have so many of that episode type left, we can afford to not worry about perfect links. So if we run into someone who does not have their perfect link, I can... Uh, I will... If it's an easy to get perfect link, if it's a swarm mon, which means we're going to use a password, then I'll probably get them and get their perfect link done. If it's an easy to get mon, like, oh, they need they perfect link with Zubat, Zubat just spawns in Viparia all the time, then I'll, uh, I'll recruit that, obviously. But I'm mostly just going to be, like, focusing on getting through the episode, like, immediately. As fast as feasible, basically. Oh, you're so recruited, son. Get wrecked. So that is the dream. Goodbye, Carnivine. So yeah, I'd like to I'd like to finish four episodes today in four hours. If we only finish three, that's fine. But we're doing only Junior Warlord episodes, which is why we're doing Okuni. And uh, I don't know, we'll probably do a Han Bay because doing Han Bays will unlock uh, Khan Bay, I believe, who is one of the only like six episodes we don't have unlocked yet. And it doesn't matter if we miss out on getting some perfect links because, like I said, we have six or seven of this episode type left. So any warriors were oh my goodness that one shot any warriors we're looking to get perfect links on we'll still have plenty of the that only spawn in this episode type or spawn easily in this episode type we will definitely have like plenty more opportunities to get them oh yeah we also have the uh we also still have the pokemon gallery to fill out but we only have like 20 22 more pokemon to get, I believe. Some of them are really dumb. Like, uh, we don't have Simapore. I don't think we have, uh, I don't think we have Panpore or Simapore registered. Uh, Simisage, I don't think I've ever even seen. So, like, those are really easy. I just have to use a, because they're stone evolutions. So I can get that done no problem. And then, uh, what was I saying? And then we have a couple of annoying ones. Like, we have to get Garchomp, and Garchomp will be annoying. We have to get, uh, Walrein was one of the ones missing. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, what was the other one? Walrein, there was something else that wasn't. Oh, Glalie. Glalie isn't that hard to get. We can get Glalie pretty easily. Uh, there's some really dumb stuff like Bidoof. I've never registered a Bidoof before, so that's like, that's just a give me, basically. I can literally just link anyone with Bidoof and use them in a fight. Uh, Tranitar is another one. Tranitar and Garchomp are like the only difficult ones left. And then a couple of them are like, we're missing Jolteon and Vaporeon, two evolutions. That's really easy to get because they're stone evolutions. Uh, do you- wait a minute, Sunomoto, is your perfect link Glalie? I might actually try and get Glalie right now. Let me check. Sunomoto. Your perfect link is Glalie. I'm gonna recruit you. I don't need these other two, but I'm gonna recruit you and I'm gonna actually just use you in my team to try and get Glalie unlocked. So that'll be another one down. And hopefully we can make that happen without having to stretch out this episode. Because my main, my main goal today is I want to get down to, like, single digits on the episodes left. Because by the time the stream is over today, we'll be at part 150 on YouTube. I really want to finish this game before part 200 or by part 200. Because if I finish it around part 200, then we'll be done with the game in November. And that way I can start something new in December, which will probably be that egg lock I mentioned. And that'll basically, that egg lock will kind of, it'll probably last basically just December. So we'll kind of close out the year with it, and that would be cool, I think. This is, again, this is a perfect setup for us, actually, because Volcarona, we spawn next to not only in a good spot to take all of the top part of the map, which is also some of the most annoying battle stages in the game, but we're also, we spawn next to uh, Magoichi, which was an easy recruit with Volcarona, and we spawn next to Tadakatsu, where we can easily, oh, that was a sub, but uh, I'll thank that person in just a second, let me finish my thought. So we spawn next to Tadakatsu, who also is easy to recruit because he's weak to fire, and uh, since we just got Magoichi, we can easily beat Quagsire and recruit uh, Ina as well. So this is just... Everything is coming up Millhouse, basically. 
for this entire start. Who is that sub? Chelsea has gifted a tier one sub to Salty. Thank you so much, Chelsea, for the gifted sub. Thank you for the support. It is greatly appreciated. Salty, I hope you enjoy your uh, gift sub for the month. It means no ads. You get the cool little sub badge and you get five tier one emotes. I got the attack buff. Let's go. Wait, can I actually take out Quagsire turn one? No, this is in the way. Dang it. Oh, that's fine. All right, I'm not super worried about like trying to ensure this snow run gets into like gets kills. But hopefully I can get it to evolve in this episode. Lone Wolf, what's up my dude? How dare you be late to stream because of giving your human body the sustenance it requires? Unacceptable. Oh, you came to my septile. Hi. <coughs> Had a tickle in my throat. Lone Wolf, can you, uh, so that I don't have to bother opening it, can you open up the fancy dancy sheet and tell me what I need to do to, um... Oh, Snowrunt can just walk on this, right. Tell me what I need to accomplish to, um... I'm just gonna do this. What I need to accomplish to get Glalie. Ares, welcome to stream. Good to see you, dude. How you doing? I really don't want to hit Dustnor. This will save Dustnor. There we go. All right, you are incredibly recruited. Get Leaf Storm, nerd. So we're guaranteed to have Ina now, I believe. Should at least. Nah, let's uh, let's do this instead. I gotta make sure that I get Volcarona over to this uh, the Steelix is the main thing. I need to ensure that Volcarona gets the kill on Steelix. Because we need it. I want Dialga. Dialga will make this so much simpler. Ooh, I think I can actually hit you. Maybe. I think I can pull it off. We'll know in a second. No, stop hitting my Sceptile, you cowards! Snorrent needs 128 HP to become Glalie. You can also just spawn in Nick Storm. Ah, good. 128 HP shouldn't be that hard. I mean, it's only a 21 right now, but you get experience or you get HP fast in this game. I think if I do this, then do this, I am a genius, but that is going to do no damage. Kabuki Dance. How much does it do now? Not as much as I want, but damage is damage, I guess. Got to get you lower. All right, you know, we're weakening him. He's getting there. I really don't want to go on this ride, but I have little choice. Beedrill, I, I was about to say it's unfortunate, Beedrill, but you're going to get hit by uh, Leaf Storm, but I've just realized it literally doesn't matter because you are a bug poison type. It still does a lot to you, though. Leaf Storm is strong. Get this Machop out of here, though. I may as well hit you with Powder Snow. Just to start getting some damage. Oh, that's right, you have Sponge. It's gonna be a little slow at first going through, um... Going through the start of this episode, even though I said, you know, I'm trying to, like, get through it pretty quick because I just want to finish, like, three or hopefully four episodes today. But it'll go a lot easier as soon as we, uh... Oh, no, my defense. It'll go a lot easier as soon as we get done with the difficult maps, which are these. Also, we'll have more strong people recruited. Ghastly is coming in clutch as just being a body blocker to let me hit this Steelix. I think Okuni synergizes well with Magoichi due to Magoichi's attack drop and Okuni's skill, not to mention Cupid. Yeah, it is actually, now that you mention it, it's a really good combo, I'd say. Nick Storm can be so annoying. Ah, nice and seven damage. Why would you bodyguard this? Whatever, damage is damage. I want to keep this Ponyard right here because I want to hit it with Beedrill's, uh, Beedrill's Twin Needle. 
So I'm gonna have to sacrifice Snow Runt, basically. How am I doing? I'm doing good. You know, been a little, uh... Been a little swamped between classwork and keeping YouTube and Twitch stuff going, along with some other behinds the, the words behind the scenes stuff, but everything's been going pretty smoothly. All things considered. Can I hit you from here like I think I can? Perfect. Get burned. Uh, Tick, welcome to stream at part 100 on YouTube. Sick, dude. Hope you're enjoying the series. You glad you have Volcarona? Did this episode first and she had a Whirlipede? Oh, no, I would... I would never do Okuni's episode without, uh... Without having her perfect link first. I mean, like, Whirlipede isn't... It's not one of the worst Pokemon in the game, but... It's definitely a struggle until you have Scallopede on hand. Goodbye, Ponyard. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to accomplish there. Oh, get sponged, nerd. Cast my partner watched your Risk of Rain videos and it made him play it. It is such a good game. I'm so upset that me me and the boys... Ah, oh, you suck. Me and the boys haven't had time to uh, play it anymore, even though I kind of want to. Just a bunch of other stuff in other games took precedence. But it is, it is a fun, enjoyable game. Can I? No. Hold up. Yeah, just hit him again. With the Vanguard. Ah, oh, easiest crit of my career. King Dragmire, welcome to stream. And then... I need more damage! Cupid will raise Magoichi's attack. I already used Cupid. I used it earlier. Ghastly, have you moved this turn yet? You might actually be able to do three damage. Please do three damage. Nice. Oh, yeah. Fighting against Steelix specifically, Scallopede or not, is a nightmare. I agree. All right, good. I got the people I wanted recruited. Now we have a Dialga and an Empoleon, so this is basically where we start to steamroll a little bit. Is this your perfect link? Yeah. You know what I also need? I don't have Celio or, or uh, words or Walrein, so I guess I'm gonna try and evolve your mons too. So first I'm just gonna drop you guys in Valora, but we're uh Yes, yeah, save progress. Also, since we're trying to kinda like not necessarily speed run, but kind of bowl through these episodes. I'm going to try and get two teams set up to go through it faster. That might be a little bit of a problem in terms of getting uh, this snow runt and spiel to evolve, but it'll let us get through the episodes faster. So definitely hit up Ranmaru next. Keep you. And then call in you three. Battle in Dragnor. I'm sorry to hear your internet is being so bad today, Chelsea. It's highly unfortunate. Sealer and Walrein are tough to get. You need HP of 138 and 185 to evolve it fully. Mm, that is rough. If we can get it to happen, great. If we can't, oh well. We'll worry about it in another episode. I'm like... Basic, my goal today is just to finish a bunch of episodes, because like I said, that's what we're lacking in the most now. We're like... We're really close to being done with... Um, a, 69 HP. Nice. We're really close to being done with uh, evolving all the Warlords, getting the perfect links on the Warriors, and on registering all the Pokemon. The thing that we lack the most in now is finishing episodes. So... That's the number one priority, is to finish as many episodes as we can. Probably only going to manage three. If we can manage three today and make progress on a fourth, I'll be pretty pleased. For all rain, I was able to get it around 45 to 50% link when I was maxed energy. Yo, that's not bad at all. Actually, that's doable. 
There's some Pokemon weak to ice here. I should try and let Snowrunt and Spiel get some kills. Get that early EXP. We're going to be taking on Spectra next, and then after we finish Spectra, that's like... Finishing Nyxstorm, Spectra, and Valora right out the gate, those are like the most annoying ones. Overall, really. Lone Wolf! I did not realize today was when your sub renewed. Thank you so much for 14 months now subbing at Tier 3, of all things. Thank you so much for the support, my dude. Both with subs and with everything else you do for the stream. Moderator-wise and uh, just helping out in general. It is greatly appreciated, my man. Get out of here. No, Bodyguard! I forgot, that's a thing! You lucky scum. Now I have to Hydro Pump you. See what you make me do. Goodbye. Renewal date was actually next week, but I figured I'd upgrade so you can use the Chaos I win. You were the only one with it. Or no, no, no. I think they were... They were oh, you were Tier 2 until now, so now you're Tier 3. So they're... Two or maybe three tier three subs. I don't remember. I can probably figure that out by looking in my uh, dashboard, but obviously I'm not going to do that right now. How many tiers are there? There are three tiers. It's all just dependent on how much money you pay. No, there's not a fourth tier. You're thinking of sub badges. There are four sub badges. Oh no, my spiel. I needed that. There are four sub badges. But uh, there are only three tiers, because tiers you sub badges you get by being subbed for a certain length of time. Tiers you get for uh, how much money you're willing to pay. Sorry about this, Empoleon, but I want this Galele. And then I'm just going to roar of time these other nerds. Like Rayquaza, Shiny Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza, and Shiny Mega Rayquaza. Yeah, that's that's uh, sub badges. That's not tiers. Those are two different things. Tiers are how much money you spend on your sub, and therefore how many emotes you get. You're talking about the sub badges, which are determined by how long you've been subbed at any tier. I will recruit Ranmaru. I'm kind of thinking now that I want to... Like, I do really want to get Walrein and Glalie done. Because we'll also get Celio, who I don't have registered. So that'll be... That'll be three new Mons registered in this episode alone. It would be nice... If we could get them all knocked out. But also, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to take too long by only running one team. It would go faster if I had two full teams going. But then that would mean the Spiel and the Snowrunt would be in less fights and get less uh, points as a result. It's too complicated. Just tell me where I put the money in. <laughs> All right, next month, next month. Next we knock out Spectra, don't have to deal with that anymore. And then we should also be able to knock out Kanotsugu. And then we'll have to move on to uh, probably work on Oichi after that. Into battle we go! Two teams also could be difficult depending on the strength and event for the enemies. That's true. but it would go faster. We also did just recruit... Uh, I just saw we recruited someone who doesn't have her perfect length. I think it was Toku. What, uh, what does she need? Is it worth me trying to take my time for that just a little bit? Aeron, Lairon, and Agron. That is like... That should just by default spawn in Valora. So we should probably try for that, actually. All right, well, Dialga is definitely going to destroy that. Here, I'd rather Volcarona go than use Sceptile, so you have to take the status effect. Sorry. It's very unfortunate that Snowrunt and Spiel were the two that spawned down here where they're, like, on the way to the enemies when I wish Volcarona was closer down, or Dialga for that matter. 
Poe Spectra. Without a doubt, my least favorite stage. Yeah, I might move some of the other people we recruited into Valora to see if we can get Aeron on Toku. Because then we'll be down from 41 warriors to 40. But I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be looking to, like, struggle with it. To try and get it to spawn or anything. If it's there and I can get it, great. If it isn't, oh well, we'll get her in another episode. Accidentally pressed B. Alright, if I want to recruit uh, Hanzo here, then we have to kill him in the next, like, two turns. It's the only way it can be done. Which should be very doable, because Hydro Pump hurts. I also want this Crow Gunk, like, super dead. Can I hit you from here? Ah, the dream. Goodbye. It was nice knowing you, buddy. I love that animation. So good. Alright, you're not doing anything to help. Please, no healing or annoying moves of any kind. Also, I definitely want either Spiel or Snowrunt to get the kill on this uh, Zubat, if possible. Because that should be an easy kill for him. Ow, my 1 HP! I really needed that, you know? Come on, come on, come on. Ah, Spectra! As in this stage, not the character from Danny Phantom. No, Okuni, I don't have time for your fancy dialogue. I have important work to do. Who has a higher percentage right now? Alright, Snowrun does. So that means I'm gonna let uh, Spiel get the kill here. Unless he low rolls, in which case Snowrun gets the kill. Perfect. Goodbye. And then I should be able to knock these two out with a Hydro Pump. Hopefully. Oh, this thing is still gonna live! I don't think I'm gonna be able to... I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit it with the... Not with that stupid statue right there. It's actually blocking me from hitting it with the... The move. Just go to the next turn. Not my spiel. Also, you just lowered my accuracy, but my warrior effect is three turns long and means I cannot miss. So you're definitely dying the hydro pump. If we recruit you, I think we're I think we're good to recruit you if we beat you this turn. If we do, great. If we don't, oh well. It's not like I need to worry about uh, evolving Hanzo anyway. Please, Spectra, why? Who designed this level? I want a name. All right, goodbye. It's been real. There we go. Impressive indeed. Easy recruitment. Good good link gain. Thank you. Is there a person here who does not have their perfect link? You do have your perfect link. Car Yo, I actually like... I need Crow Gunk done. Like, I need Toxicroak. Like, Toxicroak and Crobat are the only poison types I'm missing. Do I want... I'd have to be running a Snow Runt, a Spiel, and a Crow Gunk. That's gonna take so much longer to win fights. I'd have to take out, like, probably Magoichi. I'd really prefer not to, but I might, to be honest. Alright, this is the last time where they don't attack. So now they're going to start doing stuff. Nothing for the moment, thank you. So, I'm going to really quickly... I want to move you and Ranmaru to Avia. So hopefully, um... Whatchamacallit doesn't attack there. Just, like, take all of these nerds. Put them in Avia. Okay, now, you needed the air on, so if- No, not there. Stop. Stop this. 
you needed the air on, so if I can get it for you, great. If I can't, we'll live. Is this guy perfect linked with Gabite? Surely not. He is. I hate it. So many opportunities where it's just like, hey, you can get some of the mons you're uh, missing. Yeah, they don't attack till July. It's about to be July. I said this is the last turn where they don't attack. Now we'll start attacking after this. Because I think I, Moon Shigi goes after me, but he's like the only one. Uh, 